Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. For today, people, I want to give you guys a quick review on Apex Legends. If you guys have not played this game yet, you guys can actually download this game for free, and you don't have to pay a single dollar to play this game, which is amazing. So, if you guys did not know what this game is about, it's about a new battle royale game. Now, this game is not the same one as the others, like PUBG or H1Z1 or Fortnite. This one is kind of a combination of Overwatch with some battle royale mode. And uh, it's not bad to be honest. I already played it, I already live streamed it twice, and uh, I pretty much have only two wins so far. But along the way, I did enjoy myself. I was having fun in the game, and I know some of the main questions that people have, which is uh, can you kill your own teammates? No, you can't. Finally, a game which doesn't allow you to kill your own teammates because I know in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, my own teammates end up killing me like I don't understand this like that's the, that's why I didn't play blackout at all but like uh, I did play it on the beta and it was like more like uh, friendly but after the real game came out Call of Duty Blackouts for a blackout was not that good because the squad mode is just your own team killing yourselves like that's pretty much what it is but this game guys you can actually survive with a team and kind of play as a team too with uh, new special abilities that each character have so far I have used all of them except except Wraith there's this one character which allows you to turn invisible and also create portals that's the only character I have not played as as far as the other ones I have played as the shield guy I have played mostly as Bangalore I don't know who came up with that name, but like, uh, you know, I'm doing pretty much well with her. As you guys can see in the gameplay in the background, that is her. She can shoot smoke grenades, and also her special is pretty much uh, set a location where rockets can fall onto. So uh, there was like a, this one big moment where I just damaged a bunch of enemies back to back, and it was just amazing seeing that. I was like, man, I just called in the airstrike, the best airstrike in the whole damn game, and the best position ever, because I damaged like around three opponents or four opponents in the same location. So so it was amazing doing that I like this because it actually gives you a chance to survive longer it's not about like oh you just get headshotted by a bullshit shot and then pretty much you're done no you can actually survive longer in this game because you can actually use some special abilities uh, which allows you to flank the enemy much easier by using smoke bombs turning invisible um, you know using your special abilities throwing toxic grenades and all that stuff it just allows you to survive more more longer and also gives you a chance to sur to actually explore the map more longer because you are actually surviving out there and have a chance in survival like I said these special abilities really extend the playing time when you drop down um, another big concern that I do have with this game though it is only a trio mode like only three team members are playing together um, I was hoping for a squad mode to actually jump into the game because uh, I believe four people are better than three. I don't know, man. But I mean, I've been having a little bit of fun with three people only. But I think squad might be the best way to go with this game. I don't know about you, but that's my idea. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one thinking this. And I know people want solo mode, but they already did announce that they will be bringing it that mode like later on in the in the, in the future. So uh, most of you guys would like to play solo for sure. This mode will actually drop in pretty soon. Now, as far as the shooting mechanic goes and also the movement system, it is super similar to Titanfall 2. I did play Titanfall 2 a long time ago, so I am very familiar with how the game feels. The thing is, you don't jump around with jetpacks and all that stuff, so you eliminate that and you have a pretty much only the ground movement. And it's super similar to Titanfall 2, I'm telling you, it is. So uh, none of that changed from Titanfall 2. Uh, so, but still, the game actually flows very well. And I like the weapons. It is a very like uh, it's a very controllable state. Like uh, like none of the weapons have a lot of recoil. You can shoot from far away with an LMG. So I'm pretty sure all that stuff's gonna get in there from the future. But for right now, I'm really enjoying the game how it is right now. And uh, it's just total chaos. It's really like a squad based game, which I'm I'm really glad about. I mi I miss these kinds of games because. Most of the times when I play online, I have my teammates with their huge ego trying to go by themselves in PUBG or Blackout or in uh, H1Z1. My teammates go by themselves and try to get like 50 kills and they just die on the first one. So this game, you gotta work as a team to survive because everybody has a lot of shield, everybody has a special ability which allows them to survive even longer. So you all gotta work as a team and once you do that, you'll be able to win every single game out there. You just gotta plan ahead, learn where all the good weapons are at and you should be able to win every single match with no problem so it's really a team strategy kind of game so uh 
I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that this game kind of released because uh, you know I'm not gonna play Fortnite. Fortnite is full of kids yelling in top of their lungs in their mics, and also people are building like crazy, like they were high on cocaine. So uh, I'm gonna stick with this game from now on. This game is really like I'm telling you, like it's like Overwatch with you know with all the special abilities and then with the with the shooting mechanics of Titanfall 2. It is a great combination. So I want to give this game an eight out of ten so far. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be adding new maps in the future and probably increase the player growth to like a hundred per server or something I'm not really sure but you guys can search up those details in their website I'm not sure where but uh well you guys can just like search up for updates for the game and you'll see what's up with this game and uh so yeah that's all I wanted to talk about this game it is very well done and uh, I will be live streaming this game from now on for the rest of the year and it's going to be in rotation along with Rainbow Six Siege because they're going to be releasing new operators this season and I'm hoping they're going to be awesome too so um so yeah this game is going to be good and uh, you'll see me play play this game often. So I right, I'm back into competitive mode in in, uh, in a shooter game. So that is it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys got any ideas about this game, any any questions, you know, leave in the comment section, guys. I'll leave read it later. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more videos like this.